Hi, my name is Eden. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're new. I'm on the WW Blue Plan. I get 35 points a day and today I'm going to show you what I eat in a day. You already know what time it is. So my coffee is super simple today, just two tablespoons of run-of-the-mill organic, half and half, and three pumps of my stevia and monk fruit sweetener from Tarani. I thought it was all monk fruit, but it's definitely stevia and monk fruit, but I like it a lot. So I'm having my coffee and I'm also having my English muffin. It's just the Rudy's English muffin. When I was doing my grocery pickup, I saw this jalapeno Velveeta, which I had never seen before. <laughs> and you know, I love spicy, so I picked that up and I just cooked my egg with my little circle egg maker. You can also use a mason jar lid if you don't have one of those fancy things. They're not fancy. They're probably like $3. <laughs> But I've been super obsessed with English muffins lately. That's been my breakfast of choice. A couple days ago, I did have cottage cheese with some scrambled eggs for breakfast. And one day I was in a rush, so I just grabbed some boiled eggs. So I do switch it up, but I've been on my English muffin kick. They're just so good, so satisfying. And sometimes I do with cream cheese, lots of options there. And <laughs> my boyfriend some grapes so i'm gonna have my english muffin which is five points four points for the actual english muffin one point for the cheese and then two points for my half and half of my coffee so starting the day off with seven points mcdonald's too why wouldn't you want to eat this every morning you can definitely dip this in ketchup if you're a ketchup kind of girl i know what some of you guys are gonna say but just hear me out tuna helper but lazy and nostalgia. I know a lot of people think these kind of things are gross, but I personally grew up eating tuna helper and I loved it. Cheesy sauce, tuna, totally my zhuzh. I'm sure we all have tuna in the pantry and it's a blast from the past that you might just like. So <laughs> I'll show you how I'm making it in one serving so that I don't have to eat it for multiple days. You guys know I'm not really, um, like a leftover person but this is super good super simple just using stuff i have in the house i'm kind of light on vegetables right now i need to go to the store but let's jump into lunch i'm getting hungry Basically every appliance is going right now. It's super loud. I'm just sauteing this tuna in a pan with a little bit of onion salt, some spray, of course. Take your charred bell pepper rings and add them to a bowl. These noodles just happen to have like a ton of extra sauce. So it's really good for if you want to add like ground beef or tuna. This is two points worth of the Trader Joe's organic um, mozzarella. I'm just gonna sprinkle this on top and then throw this bowl under the broiler. Cheesy goodness worth every single point. It's a 10 point lunch. <laughs> I've had my soda stream for maybe three to four years now. I love it. It's totally 
worth the investment that I didn't make because it was a gift but if you were to invest I think it would totally be worth it I love it the only thing you do is you go to Target and trade in the little what is that co2 something <laughs> you go and exchange it at Target and they give you a new one for like a reduced price and it makes so many bottles per little tube that goes in the back I don't know, it just says club soda. Yep, CO2. Definitely CO2. Dinner time. Fish sticks. Let's do fish sticks. All right, dinner's all done. Our fish sticks are two points. We used um, just less than a third a cup of panko. I have my fries here, these are three points. I learned that trick where you spray it at the very end with oil, then toss it with whatever seasoning you want from Stephanie Mercado's sister. I don't know why I'm blame, like blinking on her name right now, but it's really good. It makes the seasoning stick super well. This tartar sauce, I'm sorry I didn't show you me making it. It's from a few days ago when I had the same fish stick and fry, fish and chip <laughs> type of meal. These are salmon sticks, but you can use whatever kind of stick you want. It's basically um, light sour cream, a little bit of mayo, and some ranch seasoning, some pickles, and some capers. So like basically just a tartar sauce. So it's two points for that, two points for this, and three points for that. And then I have some corn, and I just put zero points worth of, I can't believe it's not butter on it, some salt and pepper just to have on the side. So this is a super yummy dinner for only seven points, and I'm super excited about it. I might end up adding another point for some ketchup or something, but at the end of the video, you'll be able to see what my totals for each meal was. And these are so good, super duper crispy, and super flavorful with that ranch seasoning on the outside, so good. And like I said, I have like no vegetables in the house, so we went with kind of a starch instead, corn, yeah. So I found the Light and Fit Pumpkin Pie Yogurt, and I've been making these parfaits at night. Sometimes I use pudding. Today I'm gonna use yogurt. I'll show you how I make it. I use Nilla wafers. Um, my Nilla wafers that I use, I use six of them for four points. Two points for the yogurt, three points for um, two tablespoons of the Smucker's caramel sauce. Sometimes I only use one, sometimes I use two, and then um, one point for the whipped cream that I'm going to use. I have a ton of extra points, so I'm going to go all out with my dessert tonight. And if you don't know, I like to have a cup of decaf coffee before I go to bed. It's literally instant decaf coffee <laughs> and then I just put one tablespoon of half and half or sugar-free creamer or whatever I have into it it's usually one point and it's far after I finish recording these videos for the day so I will insert the footage from it so that you can see how I make it but just know it's like before bed when I'm having it I just have no lighting then so I prefer to tell you now
At this point, I like to put it in the refrigerator so the cookies can get a little bit soft. And then when I pull it out, I'll top it with a little bit more whipped cream, two almonds, because two almonds are <laughs> zero points, and um, some more caramel drizzle. And there you have it. A little bit more whipped topping, some crushed almonds. So, so yummy. This mug is from Anthropology. Yeah, it's from Anthropology a few years ago. But their monogram mugs are always super cute. What is that? And that's it, my coffee. And that's it, that is my little parfait. I'm gonna have that right now and then I'll have my coffee later. And these are my points for the day. I used all of my points today, 35 out of 35 points. The breakdown for each meal, how many weeklies I have left, etc. For you guys that are on WW, I've just started putting it at the end instead of doing it kind of throughout the video. I like to tell you how many points each component is in case you want to know how many points Pinko is or whatever. But here's the like the total tally, how many points each meal was. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. If you're new, please subscribe. If you're not new, thank you for coming back. And I respond to comments the first day that the video posts. Um, I usually don't come back after that because I'm rolling and moving on to the next video. So thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I'll talk to you guys really soon. Until next time, remember to keep an open mind, keep an open heart, practice unconditional compassion, but don't take shit from anyone. I love you guys and we'll see. And I hope you love yourselves even more. We'll talk really soon.